Welcome to MOOC's module on Graphics and Animation Development. Welcome to MOOC's module on Graphics and Animation Development. In this session, we will cover some of the tools that are related to image editing specifically. The outline of the contents to be covered in this session are text tool which can be used for editing some textual contents in the image, clone tool, healing tool, blur or sharpen tool, smudge tool, dodge or burn tool, ink tool and airbrush tool, perspective clone tool and Meyer tool. Out of this list one or two tool are not included in the paint tools but most of the tools are being used under the category of paint tools. So let us see how these tools can be used in GIMP for editing the images. So in this slide we are having GIMP toolbox and clone tool you can find out in this highlighted area. On the left hand side the tool mentioned is clone tool. So the mouse pointer is right now pointing on the clone tool and just adjacent to it is clone tool. Clone tool and uh, healing tool. Uh, sir, isko retake karna padega. Okay. Left, right ko. Okay, let's see where you can find the tools that we are going to cover in this session. In this highlighted area, the tool shown on the left hand side is clone tool and the tool which is present on the right of it is healing tool. In addition to this, we will go about some of the other tools also like perspective clone tool next to that, blur or sharpen tool, the smudge tool, dodge or burn tool. And we are also going to cover the text tool which is shown here as capital A and here is our text tool and uh, some more tools we are going to cover in this session. So first of all uh, let us discuss why this text tool is being required. Just like other image editing softwares, GIMP is also having one tool for editing the text contents. So you can add the text by using the text tool which is available in the GIMP toolbox. This particular tool allows the user to add the text to images in the GIMP working window and it is automatically going to add a new layer in the layer dialog box. In the earlier sessions we have covered some of the fundamental concepts of layers and as and when we are going to add some text in the image it will automatically add a new layer. We can also change the size, color and font of a selected text. So the first requirement here is the user needs to select the required text which they want to edit and later on several properties of the text can be changed like size of the text can be changed, the color of the text and the font of the selected text will be changed. We can also edit it by making it bold, italic, underlined, strike through and so on. So the text tool is having all this feasibility to edit it and further we can change the baseline or kerning of a selected text. The next tool that we are going to focus today in the demonstration part is clone tool. Clone tool is similar to the heal tool or healing tool you can say which we normally find in Photoshop image editing software also and we can make use of these tools for repairing or retouching the images. This tool can be activated first of all very easily and conveniently from the GIMP toolbox and by using the shortcut key that is capital C. This tool can also be activated from the tools menu available. So you can click on tools option then go to paint tools and out of that you can click on the clone option. So it is used for selectively copying from an image or pattern 
using a brush and the source pixel color you can kick, uh, pick by pressing the control and click option. So in this particular clone tool while applying this particular tool we need to press somewhere on the image by simultaneously pressing the control key. So as soon as the user clicks somewhere on the image then they can continue applying the same pixel color to some other location. In addition to this we are also having healing tool available in the GIMP toolbox. Healing tool is being used to remove small faults in images and it can be used for removing the disturbances like uh, uh, images having a face with pimples or blemishes or wrinkles or some kind of scratches. So any kind of distortion or defaults if these are there in the image then image editing can be done using the healing tool very efficiently. This tool again can be activated by the GIMP toolbox or we can make use of the shortcut that is capital H. In order to apply this brush in order to apply this tool we need to make use of again the brush tool and you can increase or decrease the size of the brush depending upon the area which is going to be uh, making use of this particular tool for healing purpose. So in case if the area is small then we can make use of small brush size while applying the healing tool and in case if the area is bigger enough then you need to increase the size of the brush so that the defective, defective area can be easily edited. So again in this healing tool also in order to select the source pixel color you again need to click control plus left mouse click. So after doing this you can again apply the particular healing of the area to be changed. So in this again you will feel that healing and clone tool both these tools are similar in their features or their application and mainly they are both used for retouching the images. In detail we will see in the demonstration part how healing tool varies from the clone tool. Single click on the defected area is sufficient if in case it is quite similar to the surrounding area or the area to be um, improved is less. So in that particular case if we are simply doing the single click then it is sufficient and if the area to be uh, further improved is bigger in size then you may need to click more than once. So you should take care of that it should not produce a daubing effect or uh, the other end user may be able to identify that the image is edited. So we need to be very careful while editing the images using the healing tool. So here in this image we can see that there are two images available one that is on the left hand side is showing the image before the editing part and it is having lot of defective portion. So in this digital photograph what we can do we can make use of the healing tool just discussed and by applying the healing tool we can correct the default area with the correct area. So you will have to identify the source area which is totally okay and by choosing a pixel color and intensity from there you can apply the same to the default area or the defected area. So the right hand side image is actually taken after doing the editing part. So it is a retouched image. So you can see the difference that healing tool is quite effective for doing such kind of editing. In addition to this sometimes we may need to blur the pixels or we may need to sharpen the things. So for this purpose blur or sharpen tool is available and we are also having smudge tool but their application needs to be done very intelligently. So for selectively blurring or unblurring we can make use of brush tool and then we can blur the area which is to be edited. For this purpose also brush tool is one of the thing which is most of the time required in order to apply the effect of these tools. Blur tool can be activated from the GIMP toolbox or it can also be activated by using the shortcut key that is shift plus U. Blur tool can be activated from the tools menu also as we have done earlier 
most of the paint tool are available under the tools menu and then the sub menu related to paint tools. So out of this you can click on blur option. In addition to this there is one more tool which is normally used very less that is smudge tool. So in case if you want to apply this tool first of all you will have to see whether it needs to be applied or not. So selectively smudge using a smudge tool is being done using the smudge tool. This tool can be activated from the game toolbox or we can also select it from the tools menu from the paint tools options. So smudge tool is just similar to spilling the color in the outside area. So if at some place such kind of editing is needed we can make use of smudge tool for spreading the color. Further one more image editing tool is quite popular that is dodge or burn tool. It is used for selectively lightening or darkening the area using a brush. Again for application of this we need to make use of brush and the size we can choose according to our requirement. Dodge tool can be activated from the game toolbox or it can also be activated from the shortcut key that is shift plus D. So you need to press together shift key and the D in uppercase. Blur tool can be activated by tools menu also. So you have seen that most of the tools are available under this particular paint tools category. Further we are having one tool like ink tool and airbrush tool also. Ink tool can be activated from game toolbox and by using the shortcut key simple capital K. Sir there is one editing mistake. Blur tool ka hi haan pe a I need to break. Uh, 